Yeah. First, let's go to Eyewitness News reporter Sean Daly, live at the State House, where the governor addressed 38 Studios scandal just moments ago. Yes, Susan, this just ended a few moments ago. As you say, this may be some sort of a turning point in Governor Chafee's young governorship. He's only been in office now a bit more than a year, and this may have been the biggest moment for the governor, this entire mess of 38 Studios. We just heard from the governor. His central point is that bankruptcy may not be as bad as you think. In a bad situation, he's saying, this is actually, there, has some, there are some silver linings in bankruptcy that protect Rhode Island's taxpayers. Let's hear from the governor. We should say right after the governor we'll hear an exclusive interview from Speaker of the House Gordon Fox. In the final uh, analysis, and it's, it's bad that we're where we are, but in these final weeks of uh, the financial situation of 38 Studios, being in bankruptcy court, and I'll let John answer this better, there's some uh, protection that's good for the taxpayer. Anytime you can have some protection of assets, that's good for the taxpayer. And uh, I want to make clear, the best of a very, very bad situation. So there's an element of faith in everything we do, an element of faith in what we do, and we hope it works out. And sometimes, notwithstanding all of that and all the checks and balances, some things don't work out. What went and wrong, this Mr. Is, Speaker? I, and again, you keep asking me that, Sean, and I don't know. From the core of my being, I don't know, and I hope that we do get the answers and figure it out, but it's got to be under a due diligence of forensics, and I think that's what everyone's talking about doing now, to extrapolate the lessons of what went happened down there. Because I'm telling you, it looked like it was from outside, it looked like everything's going along, you have people there, the small businesses have people at lunch, they seem to be all these young entrepreneurial kind of people, creative type, talented, knowledge district kind of people, if you will, there. Then the next day, whoosh, gone, gone. I don't know. Interesting interview there from Speaker of the House Gordon Fox revealing quite candidly there that he doesn't really know what went wrong, which can make Rhode Islanders, I think, wonder who was in charge during this entire matter. But back to Governor Chafee, he's saying of the $102 million that we've been reporting all along that the state has been, we thought, on the hook for, it may be, keyword may here, that with this bankruptcy, it could be less than that. That would be the very best case scenario in a horrible situation otherwise. Live at the State House, Sean Daly, Eyewitness News.